Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson and looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga. It's Armenia Bielefeld up against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Well Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game though. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. And here's how it looks for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Jan Sommer is the goalkeeper. Nico Elvedi plays alongside Matthias Ginter in central defence. And the striker of choice in this setup is Alassane Plea. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Okugawa. Rietl. Fabian Klaus. And a chance to whip it in here. Strong but fair tackle. Lars Stindl. Marcus Turan. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. Fabian Klaus passing it around looking for the goal that would put them ahead well they get the ball once more Hoffman Player to the goal that puts them ahead and he couldn't bag the first goal of the contest well I can't believe he's missed the target there that's a poor finish Fabian Klaus Joachim Nilsson. Will it happen for them? Just the challenge that was required. Lars Stindl. Kramer. Neuhaus. Oh, they've lost it. Alessandro Schupf moving the ball effectively Jakob Barrett Larsson retaining possession proving difficult crisp tackling Okugawa. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Marcus Tuham. Can they create something from here? Neuhaus. And here's Stindler. 
Perfect tackle. Okugawa. Could be threatening. Delightful pass. Must take the lead here. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. And over it comes. It comes to nothing in the end. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, just watching him closely throughout this match, it seems to me, Stuart, he's being constantly overrun. What's your take on his performance? Well, I usually love watching him play, but he's been poor today. He just looks a yard or two off. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Florian Neuhaus. On to Kramer. And here's Neuhaus. Lars Stindl. Nicely cut out. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. And a goal kick given. Lars Stindl. Now with Turam. Turam. Now let's see what they can do here. Alassane Playa. Offside by a fraction. Well, those stats tell you everything. A tight and cagey game without enough goal mouth action. Both teams need to get more players forward if they're to pose a real threat. So a half an hour remaining. And intercepted it. Christoph Kramer, Stindl, what can they do from here, but they took care of the situation defensively, well that's how to break the spirit of the attacker, and in the end he's run out of space, and it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. <laughs> Alessandro Schupf. He's going forward well here. Not all that convincing defensively. Well, it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. Eccentric goalkeeping. Florian Neuhaus. Marcus Tuham. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. 
Okugawa couldn't hang on to it. Skindro, great opportunity. And up for grabs off the keeper. Ten minutes to go. Alessandro Schupf. Cedric Brunner. Okugawa. Five minutes of the 90 still to go. And the teams cannot be separated. On the offensive, is there to be late excitement? Jakob Barrett Larsson. And space for the cross. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. And bizarrely, that's offside. Well, that's really sloppy. That was a great opportunity to keep the ball high up the pitch and work an opening. Vasiliadis, all even, but will it stay that way? But really sticking to the task defensively. And that is it for the 90 minutes. Level pegging here.